What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate those of you that were hanging out waiting on the stream to start. And for those of you watching the replay, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. With these live chats, you can take part right along with me. So, watch any interesting YouTube videos lately, guys? <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know, you after this stream, should really go to the Fragrance Apprentice channel and watch that epic short film because... It's been since February, so a lot of you don't remember that I traveled abroad. I went to Scotland and went to visit George Atkinson and Chris from Bragg, because a lot of you don't remember my cameo in Fragmental's Creed video. There's more content to come. We've been waiting for this video to come out, because me and Chris have several more videos with the three of us, vlogs, smelling rates of me, Fragmental, and the Fragrance Prince. So we got to, I've been holding on to that almost the whole year, so so glad that video finally came out. Because not everybody knows that me and George made up like a year ago, <laughs> me and Atkinson. So that's absolutely hysterically funny. Uh, so we got to start it off right. Sin of the day. Why I sell myself rocking it again? Probably going to be putting a review out. I'll probably film a review later. Uh, I'm ready to give my full thoughts, performance breakdown, all that good stuff. It's grown on me. It's solid. Special? No. Solid? Absolutely. Since it's already at discounters, I think it's at a decent price. I paid like 72 bucks, 68 bucks, 72 bucks for 60 ml. I think it's priced right at that point for YSL. So I'm happy with it. But while you're coming in, guys, make sure to hit that thumbs up on your way in. We're going to be talking about the newest version of Bond number nine, Andy Warhol. He's going to be calling it Emperor Andy. So I got a 15 ml right here, and I have the other three versions right there for comparison's sake. So let's see who's doing what in the chat. Adam made it first today, wearing Camera, wearing Stormtrooper hoodie. Hat of the day is Empire Strikes Back 950, Rare Carbon, and Assad on the way from sales this past weekend. Two more to attribute to you. Indeed, sir. All genres bops wearing Eternal Ood. <clears throat> Giancarlo, another Angel Share clone. Yeah, there's a billion of them, huh? So, yeah, you might not know of Vidi. That's what I was talking about. So I said this in the chat. Watch any good videos lately? Because that literally just, that's why I moved this to 3.30 Central instead of 3.00. Because he was originally putting it out at 2 o'clock Central, but it got pushed to 2.30. So I was like, well, shit, I need to push my live stream. Because I knew the video was 40 minutes. So that's hilarious. That's Nobody was expecting me to be there, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Spice Bomb EDT, one of the greatest designers of all time, in my opinion. Cody's wearing white EDP Intense. What's going on, Randy? Randy was there at the premiere. Good to see you, Kevin. Mercedes-Benz Cologne. Man, that's... Such a beautiful citrus fragrance. Austin, good to see you. Juan, how are you? Joel, good to see you. Man, Sarah, instant crush for Juan. Send of the day, pie and cognac. That was more amazing than I expected. So Randy's been known. Randy's known the whole time. Randy's one of the few people that knew <laughs> that I wouldn't do that. Uh, it was epic. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. It was very, nobody expected that. I just talked to George for a few minutes. He was messaging, we were messaging the whole time and we were working each other in the chat, talking shit to each other, calling each other names. Work, work people into a shoot. Like Ryan Epps called it. He said, I'm getting WWE vibes here. And then we really started insulting each other pretty heavily. So it's like, maybe they really don't like each other. <laughs> we were really low-hanging fruit, short jokes, Bilbo bagging stuff, buying subscribers, like the low-hanging fruit to make talk shit to each other. It was, it was so much fun. But uh, yeah, I talked to him a little bit. He's, he's super happy. I talked to his parents. <laughs> his parents were calling him while we were uh, on the phone. So that was epic. Um, Glad uh, everything worked out because me and George were friends long before he fell into the accusing me of buying subscribers thing uh, long ago. So, yeah, that was one of the most disappointing things ever. We'll talk about it more tomorrow because the day I hit 10,000 subscribers, I woke up to a message from George Atkinson basically insulting me, saying that I buy subscribers and it's a hollow celebration. And I was like, oh, not you, too. I'll never forget that. And that was kind of when me and him were fractured. That was it. He started taking shots at me in videos. And, oh, yeah, I want to kill that little bastard. It was it was like that for a while. <clears throat> so we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Because for those who don't know, it was already set up, but I made it public now. Tomorrow, 3 o'clock Central, me and George Atkinson live on this channel. So we got about five more minutes, and we'll dive into the topic. <clears throat> Red tobacco on the left hand, Tuscan leather on the right. Ooh, Damn. You're killing the game with that layering kind. I'm not one for layering, but I bet that smells amazing. Oud Melody. I've never looked into that one. What's it like? I would assume there's Oud. Camaro Ohm Intense. That's an excellent iris fragrance. 
Ghostface video. There we go. The Fragrance Addict. Dan, not the man. Good to see you. Another one wearing Camaro Omen tents. Can't get enough beautiful iris. It really is good. It really is good. <laughs> yeah, you guys got to watch it. Watch the video to know what he's talking about. I shared it on my community post on my community page. Anybody that wants to see it or you just go to the Fragrance Apprentice channel and check it out. You got to have 40 minutes to spare because you're going to want to watch the whole thing. Diorome original. A lot of Diorome iris love today. Toy boy. A lot of iris for fragrance. Well, that's rose, but a bunch of florals for you guys. And man, I kind of wish I'd have went something more floral. I mean, orange blossoms of a flower, right? So close enough. Tier Premier Falcon Leather Clone Twist. Okay. Salutations. Boss Bottled Intense Eau de Parfum. Most people's favorite. Ooh. Basically a fruitier, stronger with you. Good choice. Good choice. I have seven hills from Alhagra. Better quality of side effect. Feeling a little bit more human today. High of 50 rock and plum and cognac. There you go. What's going on, Kevin? So we're almost there. I know you're eager to hear what I think. So at the 10 minute mark, we're going to start into the topic, giving everybody an opportunity to get here that wants to be here. Uh, typically, these niche topics, we have a more intimate crowd when it's live. But I mean, hell, when I did a uh, King Andy live, that, that live stream's got 21,000 views, 20,000 views right now. So replay value seems to be pretty high on these Andy Warhol clones because, I mean, it really is. I don't think you'll ever make anything I like more than this, Kevin, honestly. Not, and I don't just mean specifically King Andy. I just mean this DNA. It's just so freaking good, man. <clears throat> Polar Red Intense Halloween video today, but that was hilarious. Good job, dude. Lewis, he was at the premiere. Abercrombie and Fitch away. I haven't sprayed that in a while. It's been a month and a half or so. Most wanted parfum. Excellent. Just got it. <laughs> that was too funny. It's the end of the day, the extreme from Alexandria Fragrance. That was a good video, right? That was a good video. That was many pounds ago for me, too. I was heavier. I was jacked like a motherfucker during that time. Like George kept talking about. So you're just going for size, huh? <laughs> I'm much trimmer now. Uh, I was about 20 pounds heavier when we were there. Hell, that was 10 months ago. That we filmed that. That was February that we went. Now, almost 10 months. Nine months and some change. That's how long ago. My weight has fluctuated heavily since that. I mean, you can see my face versus that video. quite. But I'm also dieting right now, too. So I cut a lot of water. It was just funny to see. I, was, I wanted to see the comparison. Like, damn, I was pretty fucking swollen in that video. <laughs> oh, the spice from Fragrance World. Hell yeah, man, I, I I was spraying this one last night. It's in today's video. Man, that's a good one. Rob, what's going on? Tajan from Electivist. I have that coming in. What an awesome video with George. <laughs> yeah, I saw you in the chat too. It was it was a good time, man. It was absolutely hilarious. Volcanus, I see you. I see in the corner of my eye that twenty bucks. So for those who didn't know, he already did two different five dollars super thanks in two of my videos today, and he's come through. Man, it's. Volcanus has got to be the most generous dude in this live stream space for this segment. Unreal how generous that dude is. Happy Halloween to you as well. One million privé. Autumn in a bottle. Finally got a cold front in Louisiana. Yeah, we got a cool front. It was nice and chilly today. The high's like right at 70. It's 69 degrees right now. Shout out to Joey for the 69. And uh, tomorrow, the high's like 59, 60. The next day, right about the same. So, I'm going to be wearing some slightly heavier fragrances. Scent of the day was King Andy. Right here, my guy, right here. So pure malt and reserve privé. So we're almost at 10-minute mark. Let me get caught up. I want to make sure to catch those uh, super chats. I never had anything against Dan. I never did. He just he forced the side-picking kind of thing. That was Dan. <laughs> I talked to Dan about it. I have no ill will towards Dan. I hope he's living his life, having a good old time. I do not dislike Dan Norton. I like Dan Norton. I always did. Never have ill will towards him. Like I've told you guys, I've said this before. When it comes to, you know, people falling out with each other and stuff, like unless it's somebody that's really like my dear friend, like I really know you. I've had meals with you. I've met at least your significant other, if not your family. And like a real friendship, not online acquaintance friendships type stuff. I don't take any of that stuff too seriously. Like, I like Dan. It's not heartbreaking that we're, we don't talk and get on stream together anymore. That was a choice he wanted to make. And I, I wish him tons of success with Norton and Wilson, with the Mr. Smelly channel, with all of that, you know? 
No ill will on my end whatsoever. Never tried it. No hurry. 10-4. Yeah, let me, I want to get to these. I don't want to, I mean, people are throwing money out there. I don't want to not acknowledge it. <laughs> Noah Birch with $2 super chat. Ralph Lauren Safari feeling classy today. I bet you are wearing that. So once again, not sure. Just graduated taking creatine monohydrate. Not doing the loading phase. Just stay, yeah, it, look. Your muscle tissue will get saturated with it. Don't, that loading phase stuff, it's not that serious. You don't have to do a bunch over five days. Just take your five grams a day, man. Make sure you take it with some carbs. It'll absorb better, at which I I don't. <laughs> but if you want it to absorb better and get better use out of it, 20, 30 grams of carbs, not even necessarily sugar, just some relatively decently fast absorbing stuff, not like rice, like a moderate glycemic carb you don't want something super low glycemic but you don't it doesn't necessarily have to be sugar unless you're doing it pre-workout because i know people like the the rice crispy treat is a thing for pre-workout now killer pumps i don't do that but teach their own i'm sure it does get a great pump getting that sugar rush in your system but i appreciate the super chat from noah i appreciate the 20 dollars from volcanus my man we're in vanilla Ooh, whew. okay you win you won. It doesn't even matter who's wearing what the rest of the way. You're wearing the best fragrance in the chat, at least in my opinion. And it's not just because you threw a twin health super chat. It's Virtus Vanilla Ooh, for God's sakes. One of my five favorites in my collection. So I appreciate you, my man. Decant from subscriber. I'm interested to try now. So this is the, I don't know if it's completely out yet. This is, he's been working on it. Like he told me he was going to call it Emperor Andy. It doesn't even say that. It says future Andy Warhol on the label. If I get it to focus, future Andy Warhol. And he told me it's going to be Emperor Andy. So we're going to go ahead and give this a spray on the hand and see what he's working with here. Two good sprays. So just a little quick history lesson. This is about four and a half years old. This is an old, old version. This is pretty oud heavy. This is what his bottles used to look like. This is about two years old. This was before it came out in the gold line. Come on, focus for me. Oh, Got to block me. There we go. This is before it was part of the gold line. This is the version right before. A lot of oud funk in this one. Warm and ambery, super sweet. It's some strong shit right here. Then you have King Andy, the most recent version in his uh, Tom Ford knockoff bottles. <laughs> <laughs> so get that to focus because I turned autofocus back on kind of regretting that it says King Andy on the side there we go so this has less oud funk and is fresher overall so it has that juicy sweet plum warm and ambery nice and spicy tone uh, but the woodiness here isn't as functified I guess you could say it doesn't have that typical oud funk that the rest do the new version is much more oud. Big difference from the most recent version. So Emperor Andy is oud dominant. It's like Andy Warhol, the oud edition. There's something else besides oud here. It smells leathery. Leathery and oud. Immediately what I'm thinking here. Like, it's not as juicy plum heavy in the top like the rest of them have been traditionally over the years. This, this is a situational fragrance right here. This is like Andy Warhol Privé, more so than Oud Edition, because there's Oud in all the versions anyway. I would say something along those lines. So Emperor Andy instead of King Andy. Emperor Andy makes sense, the natural evolution of the names because of the evolution of what he's doing with the scent. But this is straight up like Andy Warhol, bond number nine, Andy Warhol Privé is kind of how I would think they would probably name it. Happy Halloween to you as well. So you're in a tie with Volcanus for best smelling guy in the chat. Already answered that I don't know twice. Why the Parfum? Hell yeah. My cold front includes snow. Damn. Mind me, I got two vanilla ooh coming from fragrance by. I finally got used, used, got to use Ross's link. Well, I appreciate that, my man. Justice Gibson, one million elixir. Excellent choice. A lot of Vertus vanilla ooh today, indeed. Joe is in the house. Yeah, how you like that? Yeah, we did that back in February. I'm glad you enjoyed it. That was uh yeah, that was a long time ago. So 
I'm glad that me and Chris can finally like when the new Club Den Wee flankers came out when Iconic and Untold and Urban Man Elixir when those it was right around that time. Boss the scent magnetic had just came out. What else? This was the very beginning of the year. Like it was mid-February. So we got content we filmed with those. Now they're afterthoughts damn near because so much stuff's happened since then. But the content you're going to see coming out on me and Chris's channels that have all three of us, me, George, and Chris, uh, is from that time frame with those types of fragrances and blind smelling rates and stuff like that and some funny stuff. I can't wait. I'm glad to finally get to release my stuff. I got like three videos that I can finally release because this had to come out first because we didn't want to spoil the surprise that we were together, which Chris put the Creed video out and it was kind of a hint like, oh, shit, TLTG went to the UK. But enough times passed since he did that that everybody kind of forgot that I went to the UK. So glad you enjoyed it, my man. Y'all Ferris for the night shift tonight. Thanks for the discount code, bud. Hope you're good. I can't complain. And that is beautiful lavender and spice. That is the fourth time. I don't know, sir. It is radiating off of my hand. Like, I don't even have to have my hand. This is a monster. Like, my hand's resting on the desk, and I'm just getting hit in the face with it. Coming out this weekend. How can I articulate what I want to say here, Kevin? King Andy was a great refresh. Because it's like, okay, got away from the oud, try something different. It's fresh. It's be more wearable for more people that don't really like that oud funk. This is the polar opposite. It's cranked up. It's more animalistic, funky, and leathery. Tell me there's leather, a leather record of some sort in here because it smells like an oud leather combo. Like maybe labdanum. It could be labdanum, but there's something creating a very dense, leathery accord to go with the oud. And it is so strong. What is the oil concentration on this? I'm curious because it's pushing. It is pushing like crazy. I feel like it's a lower oil concentration because it's projecting so heavily, like lower than what King Andy was. Please let me know. Picked up Dior Homme Parfum in France last week. My sin of the day hasn't disappointed at all. Also grabbed Dior Homme Original. Excellent choice because they're actually not super redundant, even though it's the same DNA. Let's see, vanilla ooh type of day. For, yeah, hell yeah, enjoy it. Guess going to have to get the lineup. Now, it's the best one, Randy. I've been saying it for almost five years now. If you're only going to try one thing, whatever his newest version or existing for sale version of Andy Warhol is, is a must try. It always has been. It's always going to be. Kevin's version of Bond number nine, Andy Warhol, is probably better than Bond number nine, Andy Warhol. I've never tried it because it's crazy expensive. Um. So I don't even know how accurate it is to the real deal, but every version he's ever put out. And I've had different decant renditions. Like these are just the bottles that I have. I've, I've tried every rendition Kevin's ever made because he knows I love it so much. He always reaches out. Hey, man, you want to try the new version? <laughs> Absolutely. I want to try the new version. So Rubrum by Barrett. Kalan clone. The Boz has arrived. We can now start the stream. Boz, we missed you yesterday. I didn't see you yesterday. I ordered Jazz Club today, my Argos package. So, Boz, I, so a couple streams ago, you were like, wait, I thought you and George made up. Remember that? Well, the video came out today. Definitely go check out The Fragrance Apprentice when you get some time. I'll just be in New York City for meetups. Afterwards, I think my FragCom time is going to conclude soon with Henry Rose Discovery Set review that, I was, that was sent to me. Well, that's unfortunate. I love your videos, Joe. I told Ross it was, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You guys got to let me know. We could coordinate this together. I could have pushed myself, why sell myself to a different day. <clears throat> it's not that serious. See, I'm working on a review, but I could just do some more test sprays. <laughs> Wasn't that serious? You gotta let me know, guys. We'll do it together. Caps on the bottles are also changing. These are the one, these ones are too loose for my liking. I'm I'm assuming you mean the Tom Ford caps. Because it's just like a Tom Ford cap on the Tom Fords, they don't stay either. They're super, super loose. I've always liked the look of the Tom Ford cap. Got to say, they've got it down packed with that. Magic of the night. Call you Giants are hot garbage, but sadly my Jets snuck up to join as well. One of the worst games ever played. Which one is the purple version? Uh, I don't have the purple version. I think that's the last rendition he did after King Andy. I haven't tried that one. It's just a die. Kev, correct me if I'm wrong, Kevin. 
it's King Andy just with a die, basically. I think that's what the purple version is. I think. Kevin will be able to confirm it's his fragrance. Don't leave because of the drama and the trolls. Yeah, fuck them. Don't worry about that. I hope that's not why you're leaving. <clears throat> what designer brand deodorants do you recommend? I'm a, So I actually don't use any designer brands. I'm a degree guy. I use degree Cool Rush. Always have for a long, long time. Andy Warhol's from my city. At least that's something. It's so woodsy. Let's, uh, I know Kevin typically doesn't have any note breakdowns, but let's go give it a look on the website. Okay. So it's not on the website yet because it didn't launch yet. Right, Kevin? Let me scroll down and get caught up. There were two purple versions. Okay. So I didn't try anything purple. Got a hamstring injury, so I'm taking a short break. Damn, sorry to hear that, boss. That's nag. That's going to nag you. Definitely let that heal because you'll think it's good and then you'll you'll mess it up again. Gourmand Delight party on Saturday. Had to beat the ladies off with a stick. There you go. I made tobacco. First time we're in loving it. In Pittsburgh. Yeah, Randy's in Pittsburgh or around Pittsburgh. Wood Melody. It's an older one from 2014. Picked it up about 70 on fragrance net. Blind buy, well worth the money. I'll keep that in mind. Happy Halloween. We're in Inlude Black Iris. Good to see you, Kevin. Hope you're doing well. Best places. Wow, that's the fifth time. Are you not paying attention, my man? That's the fifth time. I'll say it a fifth time. I've never tried it. <clears throat> Sixth time, because you've definitely had to have heard me by now. Sixth time, time out. <laughs> Going on time out. Andy Warhol 2.0. Hell yeah. Maybe it's the Olibanum. It's still 33%. So that would come across really smoky. The resinous effect definitely makes sense. It is getting very smoky, too. It's funny that you say that. But I was getting a leathery facet early on. Um, do you Did you start putting the note breakdowns on the website by chance? Here's, here's going to be Emperor Andy. It's going to be purple. So it's supposed to be just like the real deal. So the real deal's got more oud then. Coming soon. Exact match. Well, there you go. So this is supposed to be the closest interpretation to the real deal. So the real deal must have a nice funk to it. Global prices. Where's the search bar? It used to be at the bottom. Is it at the top now? Where's the damn search bar, Kevin? Home sale, customer service. I hate your layout. I can never find the search easily. <laughs> Where the hell is it? Is this the search? No. Well, I'm giving up. <laughs> I'm looking for it. I don't see it anywhere. I give up. What we'll do instead is uh, we'll go take a look at the originals. The original's no breakdown. Andy Warhol, 8.1. Allow. Oh, I forgot to add the damn thing. My apologies, guys. Sweet, fruity, oriental, spicy, woody. So there is labdenum in the original formula. So that's why I get a leathery facet then. Yeah, it's leathery, it's smoky, the oud's nice and funky, and I didn't get as heavy as of a plum as I've done from as I've gotten from the the previous versions. The previous versions were way more juicy plum at the top, uh, which this this isn't a good or a bad thing. It's just a slightly different experience, which I can appreciate. I like that it's different from the other bottles that I have. So depending on the mood and the setting, going to depend on which one. Because Kevin knows this from over the years. I typically only wear Andy Warhol in the winter because it's just so damn strong and dense, sweet and funky, you know, so unique. It's such a great fragrance. Yeah, this is very leathery, smoky, still has the juicy fruit sweetness, but I get way more leathery accord than ever before in any previous version. Like I've never gotten this much leather out of it. 
Eternal Ood, really? What crazy people are saying? That's Grand Soir with wood, basically. Definitely not. D disregard that, guys. It does not smell like Eternal Ood, because Eternal Ood is basically MF MFK Grand Soir with woody notes. But this, if this is a similar formula to what's going on with your version, Kevin, the labdenum is shining on my skin. It smells great. It absolutely smells great. Fair. <laughs> okay, at least you said something else. Yeah, because there's five different times. <laughs> no worries. I just wanted to see something other than the same question over and over. You know, I didn't know it was Vanilla Ood Day either. I'm wearing Bad Boy Extreme. Yeah, I like the look, but coming loose drives me crazy. Same, because you just cannot, there's no chance at picking it up from a cap at all. Checked out Milestone Cheapies. Uh, no, I've I've seen them once and didn't think twice at the time. Rosé Shave Set. That's amazing. I made my later batches in the bronze line of the original formula with the purple color, but then I did King and also in purple. Okay, so King Andy was in purple. Okay, because I could have swore you had did a version of King Andy in purple. I'm going to spray King Andy on the other hand. So for any of you that don't like more animalistic, funky oud smell. King Andy's the version for you because it's dialed back, it's toned back, and you get a lot more. It's actually a fresher plum than it is just dense, juicy, sweet. There's a freshness to it. There it is. Crazy high oil concentration. It's like Crisco sitting on my hand. I mean, you see that sheen? Just straight up Crisco. It's still so good. Like if you wanted to try to pull this off in warmer weather, that would be the one, but still probably not a great option. But maybe in the evenings, King Andy would be the one. The others are just so dense and dark and heavy that I don't I don't think I think summer's no no. Get too funky. Like Emperor Andy, way too funky for the summer. But fall evenings and then moving into the winter, anytime in the winter. It's, it's settling. It's getting smoother. Emperor Andy, in some ways, is the absolute best version. But then again, they've always been phenomenal. You really can't go wrong with any version. Oh, yeah. And look, it's we've kept this quiet for like a year. <laughs> That's the funny thing. It's almost been a year since we made up in like December. It's been almost a year. Love his version of Andy Warhol. I only have one from last year, and it's fantastic in the cold. That's when I like to wear them, too. Cap shoes are gonna bug me. Fair. Moving to Florida. Yes, yeah, my impression, Joel. Ginger Obsession is incredible by Essential Obsessions. Coincidentally, I have a Facebook group about, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, ancient people of Italy, after whom Tuscany got its name. Historian Boz. Uh, for some fragrance, but not all of them, just taking forever to update everything I need on the website. Okay. 10-4. Zaro Porum Intense. Oh, that's such a monster in the cold. I've heard rumblings of it's being it's been discontinued, but I don't know for certain. It's definitely not as easy to find as it used to be. I picked it up for 35 bucks, and it's great. I don't think they'll ever make a better version of a Zaro Porum. They got a bunch of great flankers, but it's the best one. If you can find that for a decent price, a Zaro Porum Intense is great. Super sweet, boozy. That brandy and cinnamon is just... So good, and it still it still smells like the original at its core. Just gear shifting my channel. 10-4. Not sure from a computer. I think you gotta go to the menu button. Because it used to be just a separate spot. You used to have a separate search bar, like the little search icon was at the bottom of the page on the old page. Ah, oh, here we go. It's off to the left. Look at this weird ass spot. Look, it's right here. You get to the page and it's just randomly there. <laughs> what? Type in Andy and see the options. 100 ml bottles. Look at a big purple juice, King Andy. Ooh, the beard oils. God, I, guys, I have uh, the beard oil and I also have um, the aftershave lotion. I haven't used them in a while, but are you going to be doing? 
any new versions of those for Emperor Andy. I mean, not that you really need to. As long as you got a version of Andy Warhol, you're good. Lost with Andy, which is one I've never tried. That's a blend of Lost Cherry with Andy Warhol, I believe. Then you got the King Andy options here. 5ML, 15ML, which this is a 15ML, guys, that we're smelling Emperor Andy from. Very nice little bottle. Way better than any decant, I'll tell you that. For 25, then you got 30ML and 50ML. Oh, I'm sure there's, oh, there's only one review. I'm surprised. I figured there'd be a ton of them because this is definitely, this is definitely without knowing his sales numbers, his best seller over the years. Has to be. It's too good not to be. Yeah. Yeah, I found it. So the first two versions, yeah, these are just older renditions. They don't exist anymore, which this is my favorite of, of all of them. This is the 2021 version, I believe. A lot of plum, heavy, heavy plum. Still a lot of funky oud. This one's got more of an ambery facet, like the labdanum that's in there is very ambery, but heavy, heavy plum. This is the most juicy plum out of all the versions. This original version being the closest to it, this one's all of the, the most plum heavy. And then this is the most recent version, King Andy. And it's the freshest, least amount of oud. And then now we got a, a leathery labdanum and a lot more oud. And the, the plums tone back a bit. It's still there. You still smell juicy plum. It's still the sweetness. But, man, it's... It's another solid nine out of 10, Kevin. I mean, you can't do, I don't think you can do wrong here with all the different ways you twist and tweak it. I don't think, and this is supposedly exact match to the original. Like I'd love to smell the original, but I don't want to spend the money on the original because I wouldn't just want a decant. Even a decant from somebody with that discontinued bottle would probably be ridiculous. But I trust in what you have with these because your versions of Andy Warhol have never steered me wrong. I'll always have these. Even if I don't wear them all the time, I just pull the caps and smell them throughout the year because it's just so freaking strong. Once you spray them, radiates out the atomizer. That's how it used to be. I get it to focus. Come on now. I want to show you guys the sticker. I'm turning this autofocus off. It's pissing me off. There we go. Our formulation of Andy Warhol on the sticker on the top. That's how it used to be, guys. This is old labels. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going back to manual focus. It's my Logitech webcam, and I'm using Logic Capture on the monitor up top so I can see, make my adjustments from there. I feel this formulation is sweeter. Really? It's sweet, but it's the. I feel like there's other things contributing this time around to where it's not just plum. Like I said, the, compared to previous versions, this is less plum than the other versions, I find. Definitely less than these two versions. These two versions are the most plum heavy. Fun video with George. It was. It was, it was, it was hilarious. I made a tiny batch when I sprayed it in my store. I choked my friend out. He had to walk outside. Yeah, this is super, super strong, guys. This is probably the strongest one. And it's just going to get stronger as it macerates more. Doing great, Ross. I just ordered the Happy Land Barbershop Shave Set. That's a really, really good one. It lathers really well. Frank's products are really good. Strike Gold Shave, that's who made it with EJ's oils. May EJ rest in peace. Still crazy to think EJ's gone, man. What a good dude. Possibly, but not 100%. Schedule's hectic right now. Yeah, only King Andy's available. There you go. After Halloween sale, can't wait for the next sale. Off to the gym. Peace from Ohio. Blake, have a great workout. Most popular. I'm sure he's going to say Andy Warhol's is most popular. Well, of Andy from when he first made it, bought it after Ross's review, like way back when. Yeah. Yeah, I've been raving about it for years. Almost the entire the entire life of the channel, I've been raving about bond number nine. Hell, when I went to 2019 Sin Explore, I already had this bottle, but he sent me a decant of a new version, a new batch. And I brought that. If you go look at the vlog from 2019 for Sin Explore 2019, I show in the mirror when I was getting ready. Justin was 
on the other side of the room. I was by the bathroom. I showed it in the mirror. I wore Bond number no. nine, Andy Warhol, Kevin's version to Sin Explore. That's that's actually what I wore to the event. Hell yeah. Went to Dillard's the other day. Now I'm trying to hold off on going back and getting Blue Dish Chanel EDP and Alorum Sports. So you're not really going to find those too heavily discounted. So, you, I mean, just assume get them from Dillard's. Um, Sephora, Alta, any of them. Because Chanel, they're pretty good about not letting their stock dump into the gray market. So you don't really find them discounted heavily anyway. No, I have not. No, I didn't see your question. I was jumping around a little bit. I apologize, Boz. No, never have. Never have. So, yeah, I'm jumping around a little bit more because I'm just so far behind. Have a good night slash grand swore. Biggest sellers, King Andy. Any of the events? Yeah, King of Kings. Randy, if you want a pineapple heavy version of Aventus, try King of Kings. Let that be one you try. His version, of King, his King of Kings, it's a 13ZZ01 batch clone. It's really, really good. Just ordered Checkmate. There you go. Uh-oh. Coming through with another hefty $20 super chat. My man, I appreciate you. Just got back from Green Bay for the Packers and Vikings game. Gone four days. Only two fragrances. Business over pleasure for the day and evening mystique for the night. Hell yeah. Fun fact, it is one of the Fragrance Apprentice's favorite fragrances. <laughs> I've been knowing he loves it. It's, it's hilarious. So the buildup. Like all the stuff, all the shit George Atkinson's been talking in the last several months, that's all been a work to build up to when this video comes out. We had a bit for the 22 subscribers thing with like there's a we filmed the part for it where it was going to be over my shoulder. I'm like, are we going to talk about this 22, his Roman numeral thing he does? It was going to be over my shoulder. We ended up cutting that because we didn't get to where it's Roman numeral 22 in his video series. So it didn't make sense. Like I said we got a lot to talk about tomorrow. So make sure you guys are here. It's going to be me and Atkinson on my, my channel tomorrow. It's going to be hilarious. <clears throat> had a great weekend. Well, man, I appreciate you. I'm glad you had the one two punch with you. That's awesome. Thank you so much for the super chat. And it's great to have you here. Yeah, sample. Have a good night last year. I was in your store and you were right. I like it more than Andy even. Damn, that's a bold statement. I just mass sprayed myself with Dorissima. That one needs to be sprayed a little more. It's that kind of scent, especially in this cold, wintry weather. Have the original version and it's aged so well. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. It just macerates and gets better and better. It's their best. I mean, to me, it's my favorite, I guess, would be better to say. Not, because best is a very subjective thing. It's to each their own. What I think is the best, you won't think the best, and the next person may not think is the best. It's my favorite, I guess, would be the better way to put it. The word best is just for search engines, basically, because people type in best this, best that. That's why you see best in so many video titles, because that's what people search for. There you go. <clears throat> tired of smelling Andy Warhol after bottling up, making so much this new Emperor Andy had me going back when I really loved it. I could believe it, man. I could absolutely believe it. No, you're definitely right. This is a darker plum that mixes with the darker notes more. But to me, it comes off sweeter. So I get where you're coming from with the sweetness for sure. Because like just on the regular formula, um, aside from vanilla, I don't see what else could make it sweeter. But then again, I don't know what your formula is, how if it's the same like blend of notes and oils. Um, if it is, I mean, if you're going for exact match, I would think it's pretty damn close to the similar oil breakdown here for the pyramid. But uh, yeah, it's ooh, King Andy. Just got a big whiff of King Andy. King Andy's still great too, man. Guys, any version, any version. But those of you that appreciate a more, uh, I guess we'll say warm and animalistic, kind of dirty fragrance, and I don't mean dirty in a bad way, Emperor Andy might be, might be that fragrance for the holiday season you didn't even know you needed to try. And you can get little 15 mLs like this. Like, how much was it for 15 mLs? Just looking at King Andy anyways. A 15 mL of King Andy is 25 bucks. So you can get a 5 mL sizable decant. And trust me, they last. You don't need a lot of sprays. 10 bucks. So just something to think about, guys. I encourage you, like I always have, whatever version of Andy Warhol Kevin's got, try the damn thing. It's Highly unlikely you're not going to like it. Do you stream at the same? No, I typically stream at the same time. So I had to push this one back because of the big premiere for George Zaharoff paid for this video, or did he, on the Fragrance Apprentice channel. 
because uh, it was going to run 10 minutes past when I normally would start my stream. So I had this set for 3 Central like I normally do. I moved it to 3.30 Central so they wouldn't overlap because uh, cause I talked to him for a few minutes on the phone after uh, him and his mom and his dad and everything because they were calling while I was on the phone with him because I was talking to him through his computer, his laptop, and they were calling his phone. So I got to talk with them through speaker. Lovely people. Um, I want to say when I was there, like you guys have no idea, like we watched SmackDown together because me and him are big wrestling fans. Like we checked that off the bucket list. We talked. It was during uh, Sami Zayn's build up for uh, Elimination Chamber last this past year, the beginning of the year. So like there's a lot of stuff that happened in February. We were in Edinburgh for three days. Yeah, three days. I was in Edinburgh in February. So I got to spend a lot of time with George and Chris. It was great. I think I bought Andy Warhol because of the recommendation on your channel. I believe it was my first central. I want to say you told me it was because of me. I'll take the blame. You blame me for so many other things. Why the hell not? Let's add it to the list, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was I, I felt like it was the right fragrance to wear to Scent Explorer because it just it was so impressive. It's always been such an impressive fragrance to me. And it's funny looking at these different bottles and different variations right here. Like the view I have, obviously, I, you guys can't mess it. I mean, let's do this. So this view, I mean, that's what I'm wearing. It's right next to it. But it's just funny to see the evolution of it over time because really this is the evolution. And that's not every rendition that I've tried. But yeah, good stuff. Absolutely love, 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 love Kevin's versions. Uh, Kevin, forever and ever and ever. I'll, it's not even a question. Do I want to try them? You're damn right. I want to try every version you ever do, ever, for as long as you do them. <laughs> just sent, just sent on, oh, just went on Central Obsessions website and saw there was an option for creating your old fragrance. Have you thought about creating one? Uh, not really. Not really. Uh, I've done my share of bespoke stuff uh, through the mind of Claude Deere. I'm good. I'm good. That's a, I would think that's a pretty good option for uh, anybody that Battle of the 89 Ace hat today. Well, hell yeah. I'm wearing their, this is one of their batting practice hats. And I'm, yesterday I wore 72 World Series one. Um, but yeah, I would think that's a good option for anybody that just wants to see what it's about to pick some oils and try it out, you know. So Jubilation 25, it's been a while since I smelled it. So I had a decant and did a giveaway. It was a 10 ml and it was winner's choice and they picked that. So it was, I didn't get to spend a lot of time with it. So it's hard to really think back on. I remember getting a good bit of blackberry out of it. It had a bit of a fougere appeal to it. <laughs> who's, uh, who's that? Oh, it's Dave. <laughs> It's Dave Kelly. <laughs> He's messaging me about Joe. He's like, wait, y'all are doing a live together too? That's hilarious. Um, yeah, it's going to be fun tomorrow. It's absolutely going to be fun, you guys. I'm telling you, make sure to tune in tomorrow. That's going to be, if you like, if you enjoy my streams, imagine me with the Fragrance Apprentice, how this is going to go. It gets gloves off. We're going to have some fun. You guys are going to get to see the kind of shit we have, we do to each other and have fun with. It's, it's going to be great. I can't wait. We've got a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. A lot that's happened over the last year between us so uh but as far as black iris it didn't it's a really good fragrance i see why people love it so much but it didn't impress me to the point of wanting it which i know is going to be surprising for it being an iris fragrance it's just something about that oregano dna for interlude i just don't care enough for any of the three versions believe it or not the x straight was the one i like the most but it's so i mean situational is kind of an understatement for the x straight it's it's super earthy because I had a decant of it. I had a decant of both. And I just don't care for the DNA. That's one of the few series of homages that just aren't for me. Um, I would strongly encourage getting decants. That's what ruled them out for me. It didn't rule out Jubilation 25. I just haven't spent enough time with it. But definitely get a decant. You'll probably like Black Iris. A lot of people seem to, that's their favorite of the interludes. It's the most wearable one, I think. Let's see. Popping in late. What's going on, Jared? Pegasus exclusive layered with chocolate greedy. That's an interesting landing combo. Seemed like a real humble guy. Okay. 
I watched that video. It's pretty funny, right? George did a good job. George edited that himself. Like uh, Corey didn't edit that. Killer Frags. I saw somebody in the comments saying we just need an appearance from Killer Frags. I was mad at Corey for not going because Corey's taking a bunch of shots at me in his videos too. Um, so I wanted to give him a hard time because I, I talked to him about it. I was like, man, y'all wanted to bust your balls. Why the hell aren't you here? Yeah, what, when's the next time I'm going to come to the UK? Uh, so he wasn't able to make it though because I wanted Corey to be there too. I wanted to get some stuff with Corey and hang out with Corey, you know. Shout out to Killer Frags. Yeah, holy shit, it's good is right. I, I share your sentiment. Legit. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. So I knew it was going to be a very intimate crowd because it's a very niche topic, you know. But like I said, the King Andy live stream, it's got 20,000 views. So you never know when they're going to catch fire. You never know. I have live streams that just take a little bit to catch momentum and they catch crazy momentum. There's my like. Well, I appreciate that, Boz. See, I assumed that you automatically did that when you click the stream. <laughs> I forget sometimes. I'm just busting your balls. That's one that catches fires up and down. Like right now, it's it's on a real peak. It's got 120 something thousand views. The live stream with me, EQ, and, and George. Yeah. Different oils, but same notes. Okay, just balance differently. Keeping King Andy. I think that's smart to keep uh, King Andy. 5ML gets you like 100 sprays. Yeah, because 5ML is more than people realize. 2ML gets you 15, 20 sprays. You know, people don't realize that. They see that little amount of juice and don't realize how much it, it's good for because the atomizer stem so short. Whereas this is a longer stem because it's 5ML, which I don't have any near me, but I've got a bunch of Kevin's 5ML's. Some, some good glass ones, uh, not cheap thin glass either. They, if you drop them, they don't break. I wouldn't advise trying to drop them just in case, but he uses some good decants. They they don't spoil as quickly as some of the others, so he he definitely spends – he invests in his business. He doesn't just buy, buy cheap stuff to make as much profit, so I have to say. That's one of the reasons I've rocked with Kevin for so many years. we got snow here. Two questions. One, what's your opinion on Sam Sulik? Love when he comes across my TikTok. Um, it's it's the, you know, just kicking it with your buddy appeal. Like how those fitness vlogs were years and years ago. He's doing that. Doesn't give a shit what he looks like as far as his apparel. He's he's as gym bro as it gets. He's not he's not doing that stuff to get on stage. It's for the love of bodybuilding that he bulks and cuts, bulks and cuts. I respect it. He just loves bodybuilding. He loves changing his physique. I think he's a breath of fresh air. I don't watch a lot of fitness content, but I sure do watch every, because I'm on an algorithm that feeds me his content now. I love it. I'm here for it. Anybody that has bad things to say about Sam Sulik, you're a hating bitch. That's a, that's a good dude. I, he's a genuinely good dude. I firmly believe that. And he's just a joy to say. It's like you're having a conversation with your buddy. Love it. And then, have you ever worn no bull shoes? Yes, I have the original trainers. They're in a black, all black with the white sole. Prices, are, yeah. So, it's a niche shoe. I mean, they're big now. They're in the PGA Tour and stuff like that. They're sponsors of it, but um, their originals are super popular. You're gonna see them all over the gym. They're not anything special over anything else. Like it's more of a marketing thing. They are stable, like you would want from a training shoe but they're not really good for running. Now I'm talking the original trainer. Let me grab them real quick. So the original trainers, not the newer ones. So this isn't the softest foam. It's more like, it feels more like polyurethane. It's got that rubbery tone to it. So it's like very dense. They are quite stable very flat. They don't have much of a drop off. I think it's like a three millimeter, four millimeter drop off. They grip very well, deadlifting platforms. And when you're, when you're squatting and so on, like they are a great training shoe, but they're not so much better than any other training shoe, like a Metcon or something from Under Armour or Adidas trainers. Like there's levels to it. Certainly there's definitely levels to it. This is a really good all around if you need more stability than step in comfort, that's where they shine. And it's a simplistic look. They take a beating. This upper takes an absolute massacre. It can get the shit beat. You can beat the shit out of this shoe. 
So that's another benefit to it. So I hope that hope helps. That's why they're so pricey and there's a billion different prints. If you get the original trainer like that, their first shoe, they got so many different options. It's unfreaking real. They're true to size. So you don't need to go up or down. Um, just go with your true size, like whatever you wear for your true size and Nike, go with it for them. If you like a looser fit, half size up kind of thing. It depends on if you got a wide foot, which they have wide foot options. So are they worth it? That's up to you. I bought a pair. I do like them there. I go through times, like, especially when I'm go through my phases when I deadlift more, I definitely wear them a lot more because they are good for that. Cause I'm not the type that's going to get down in my socks and trust my socks to not slip on a wood platform. I don't know how people do that. Y'all are wild. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, they're good shoes. They're not so much better than any other trainers though. Keep that in mind. Hope that helps. As soon as I get this new batch mix, I'm going to send you a full bottle. I appreciate that. I mean, don't feel like you have to, though, because this this is a lot. This is a lot. This will last years and years and years, Kevin. Don't feel like you have to, my man. Definitely don't feel like you have to. Let's see. No, no, I haven't. The last time I went to his apartment before I moved, he was working on it. We talked about it. He showed me some of the stuff he was doing. But no, I haven't tried any of Nathan's stuff. People seem like that's what I'm saying. I could see it being some fun for people for sure. Hi there from London, Dean. How are you? It's almost an hour. We'll shut it down here in just a little bit. So I, that's one house I have not dove into. I'd like to. I love the aesthetic of their bottles. I've just never gotten around to them. So with Dedrick, that's going to be at 430 Central. So I'm still going to do my stream at 3 Central. We're going to do a hard stop in an hour. And then 30 minutes later, I'll be live with him. And then Thursday evening, Dedrick's doing his Creed Absolute Aventus stream, and he asked me to come make a cameo. So I got stream yesterday, stream today, stream with Atkinson tomorrow, my stream Thursday, cameo on Dedrick's channel Thursday, Friday my stream, then wrestling stream on the Sports Desk Podcast with Dedrick Friday evening. And then co-hosting the red carpet event for the Yeah Yeah Awards with Juan on Sunday night. So I got eight streams this week. <laughs> it's a lot of streaming, guys, uh, plus all of my usual content. So it's a busy, 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 super fucking busy content week for me this week. I love it, though. I'm here for it. Uh, it's fun stuff, fun stuff. And then all the excitement and, you know, probably heads exploding of trolls from, from Atkinson's video that came out today. Um, the best part is I could probably save myself one video of recording and just edit one of the videos with him in it that I've been waiting to release. So I'm probably going to put one of those out this week and put another one out next week, kind of spread them out. <clears throat> I'll probably do the smelling rate with me, him and Chris. And then on my other channel, the vlog channel is where the vlog is going to go. Cause I have a vlog. We went to TK Maxx and all that good stuff. Like it's, we, we did all the things, you know, as much as we could. But yeah, that'll be 4.30 Central on Friday. I know that was very long-winded. Just want to give you guys a little insight into all the content I got going on this week. I'm not going for some candy tonight. I'm just going to sit in the dark. Well, that's fun. Second Soul has it. I like it. So I should like Jazz Club, too. There you go. Just a little scary. Okay. Well, there you go. Hit him with it, Kevin, which I'm sure you're already on it. That's funny. So fun fact, you know how I tell you guys I'm one take Jake when it comes to all of this? There was no second takes on any of that stuff. Chris was like, have you done acting before? I'm like, no. He's like, you're a natural. I took, that was such a compliment because Chris is an actor. I'm like, no, I'm just going with the flow. Like George would give his direction on, you know, because George directs films and shit. That's his thing. Here's what I'd like to do in the scene. And it was all ad lib. Like he'd give me kind of direction on what he'd like. And I just say it the way I would say it. There's no scripted anything, really. It's here's the direction, here's the vision. Well, I can kind of do this. Let's just roll with it. It was kind of a natural. I love that we kind of just did a flow. It was here's the vision and flow. That really suited me. That really suits me. So shout outs to George for understanding the situation and who he was working with and all that good stuff. George really is good at that stuff, guys. Atkinson, by the way, the fragrance apprentice. He really is good at what he does when it comes to these films. <clears throat> Uh, 
Not much. I don't find it's got all that much smoke. No, no, no. I don't have any business cards printed out. That's funny. Light blue intense. Definitely going to get a decan of cosmic pepper after your first impression. So I need to wear that. It's right here. The the pile of stuff I want to wear has, has gotten bigger. <laughs> King Andy going green. King of Kings. I agree. King of Kings. You need to try that. Absolutely, my man. Absolutely. I like sweet as long as it's not sickeningly. So this isn't the sickeningly sweet type of stuff. New exact match of Elysium coming this weekend. And it's literally Elysium. Well, I'd like to try that. I'm not going to lie. I'd like to try that. If you're saying it's exact match, I'd really like to see. Because I'm on a hunt to find the perfect Elysium clone. Because I don't think one exists yet. I don't think anybody's really nailed it down. There's some good ones, but I don't think anybody's really nailed it yet. Any of the three versions. Neil, good to see you. Classics. Let me scroll down a little bit. Montrese is in the house. What's going on? I wore a pair of 2016, I think, Pegasus, and they were so comfortable. They, they are phenomenally comfortable. Terrible for leg days, though. Power movements. Because there's no stability because it's cushion it's real squishy so you don't have a lot of stability but for everything else for running and just you know regular lifting and stuff absolutely it's totally fine for all that obviously great for running the running shoes but when it comes to like squatting doing barbell power movements where you need some stability running shoes are terrible for that they're not the worst thing in the world depending on the height of the cushion but there, there's risk for injury because it really taxes your ankles because they're constantly trying to like imagine having 400 pounds on your back to squat and your ankles are constantly trying to stabilize because there's so there's no stability and it's a soft foam under the feet there's nothing stable or any supports coming up the side on the archway of your foot or anything like that so you, your feet are just doing this balancing act with an additional three four hundred pounds on your back so it's really terrible on your ankles that's really what it comes to it wears your ankles out so that's why running shoes are just so bad for that kind of stuff but specifically those types of movements. I wear running shoes to the gym all the freaking time. I wore, I wore free runs today, but I was doing back, and I didn't deadlift. So it's all good in the hood. No, I did chest. I'm sorry. I did chest today. Leather to back. Hell yeah. 80 people in the chat and 80 likes. Yeah. We got a smaller crowd today. Smaller crowd for sure. I anticipate a bigger crowd tomorrow. Uh, we had a pretty big crowd on – we have a big crowd yesterday. We had a decent-sized crowd. We had 120, 130 yesterday. Um, it all depends. It varies. Sometimes we have 70 people. Sometimes we have 190, 200. All depends. I'm just happy for those that did show up and came check me out for a little bit. We're about to shut it down here in a few more minutes. Let me try. Uh, I was doing a live stream while he's sleeping. Yeah, I've got so much content this week. Why the hell not? Let me try to get to uh, get to the bottom. Look, it's great. It's I love it. I'm here for all of it. You know, I am absolutely here for all of it. Don't cross the streams. What are you talking about? The recent mobile door. Ross knows about them because I'm talking about Panadora. Yeah, you, you seem to be quite the fan of the house, that's for sure. To do acting. No, I'm I'm not. It was just flattering to say because it was like we didn't have to, like I didn't stumble on my words or anything like that. I think that's why he said it. And I just kind of I flow. Like it's everything, anybody that saw the video, that was just all right, action. We did it. That was it. Oh, shit, that was good. All right, I think we're good. Let's move to the next scene. Watch it back real quick on the camera. Yeah, I'm good with that. You good with that? It was basically what it was. No, of course not. I think it'll be some, some near falls to get people excited, but that's about it. He's definitely not doing that. That's funny. Yeah. Totally forgot that today is Halloween. Cold in Carolina do detour rouge today. Compared side by side, and it's scary close. Yeah, see, I, I would I would definitely like to try that if you don't mind. So if you don't mind shooting me a little decan of it, I don't need a bottle or anything. Just I just want to experience it and see. I'm super curious. Super close to which one? The parfum cologne, the parfum. I'm assuming we're not talking O intense here. I'm super curious. Yeah, they're super comfortable. They're phenomenal running shoes. They've been long running for 
30 something, 40 years. And since the eighties, I think the Pegasus has been around. I have several different year models of them. They're super awesome. Bond X straight line, 10, four. Always doing big things. Keep up the great work. I appreciate that, Philip. Thank you, man. Yes, I have. Why do you believe it to be the best sales movie ever? Because it is the best sales movie ever. The the coffee scene. Oh, my God. Yeah, Glenn Garrigan Ross. Anybody that's in sales, I, I would assume a manager has had, said, what do you mean you haven't seen Glenn Garrigan Ross? Glenn Ross? Because that's what happened to me. What do you mean you never saw that movie? And it's like, all right, tonight you watch that movie. Come back and tell me about it tomorrow. So I would assume most, you know, old dog sales managers have done that to their sales teams. And that's that's pretty much what happened to me. Yeah, it's, it's a must watch. Old school sales, man. We'll get the newer version. Always be closing. Well, I know you meant closing. But yeah, for sure. So on that note, we got an hour and one minute. Um, we're going to go ahead and shut it down. I appreciate you guys coming to hang out. Thank you, everybody. Super Chats. Kevin, thank you for sending this my way. Seriously, I, this will get some wear this winter. Not really the best situation to wear it right now. Even with the cooler days, it's still not cold enough for this, this dense of a fragrance for me just yet. I think I'm still about a month, a couple weeks out at least uh, before I get that kind of cool front. But it will get in the rotation. You guys will see it on my, you know, follow me on Instagram. That's pretty much where the scent of the day posts have moved to exclusively. It's pretty much exclusive uh, Instagram content at this point. Uh, so definitely follow me. I mean, it's right there. <laughs> so make sure to follow me on Instagram if you're interested in stuff like that. And put your scent of the day like we used to do on the community post. Um, yeah. Check out today's video. Definitely, definitely, definitely go to the Fragrance Apprentices channel and watch today's video. If you haven't yet, just know that you need 40 minutes because you're not going to want to not watch the whole thing. I can promise you that. Uh, so you guys have a great rest of your day. Tomorrow's video, not exactly sure what I'm putting out just yet. Uh, check out today's Fragrance World video if you haven't yet. And uh, yeah, see you guys at 3 o'clock Central tomorrow for the live stream that I never thought would happen. That I'm super excited to have that I would think you guys would want to be a part of. So definitely come check us out at 3 o'clock Central tomorrow. Me and the Fragrance Apprentice live on the TLT Reviews channel. Y'all have a good one, guys.